And let's do this, ladies and gentlemen. The second video publishing today, the first one at 5 a.m. was all about my full review for the Nike Zoomfly Flyknit. If you didn't see that one, go check it out. Upper right-hand corner, but instead, let me grab the knife here. Today's second video, I'm opening a box. And inside this box is a running shoe that I've never, ever owned, nor, nor have I ever even seen in person. That's crazy. All right, let's do this. I'm excited. Hold on. Let me just cut this box open here. I'll just give you a hint. Actually, maybe the question of the day. Why not? Let's do it. What is in this box? I'll give you a hint. It's not a company from the United States, okay? Not a company from the United States, all right? You ready for this? All right, hold on. Question of the day down below. Go hit it up before I let you know here. Oh my goodness. You ready for this? Here we go. All right. Three, two, and oh, we get a grip. Three, two, one. Oh, something, something. Oh my goodness. Look at that box. Oh, I like it a lot. Salmingrunning.com, a Swedish, a Swedish company. That's right. I've never owned anything from Sweden. Not that, that I know of. Oh my goodness. Spelled S-A-L-M-I-N-G. Salming, I hope I'm saying that correctly. All right. Open in the box here. What's inside? Boom. Ayo. Oh, wow. Let's get this other, put it right there. Oh man. So this is a trail shoe. It's a Salming Trail 5. That's the name of the, of the shoe. Trail Five, okay. Oh, let me just soak it in for a minute together here with you. Take that out. Wow. Vibram outsole. Look at that outsole. Oh yeah, brand little sniffy sniff. Oh yeah, we're brand new. Let's see if they got the right size. Yup, got the right size. Okay. Inner. Ooh, nice. I like that. I'm just squeezing the midsole right now, seeing what that feels like. I believe it's four millimeter lug depth. Uh, so pretty good lug action, not over aggressive, but um, okay. So Salming, as far as I know, wow, that looks like a, just off of first impressions, like out of the box, it looks wide, looks very wide. Ooh, it has a Swedish flag on there. Um, so it looks like a wide landing platform for your foot. Definitely wide, looking at that through the midfoot there and even into the toe box. So we will get it on the feet very soon. Salming. And again, S-A-L-M-I-N-G is a Swedish company, um, was founded, as far as I know, just did a little research before opening this box, was founded by a former NHL hockey player. How cool is that? So um, I guess the guy's name was Sal Ming, and I don't know much about the company. I'm going to learn alongside you as we journey together with this trail shoe. So it's, a, it's the Trail 5 from Sal Ming. I like the colors. I like the colors just out of the box there. Okay, and the story gets even better with Sal Ming. Basically, the gentleman, the founder of this company, played, I believe, in the NHL for like 18 years and was the first Swedish-born player to be inducted into the NHL Hall of Fame. How cool is that? Like, I, I, love, I love running, right? I love running, but I love other sports as well. You know, I'm a big Broncos fan, and uh, I'm a big baseball fan, but, and I'm a big hockey fan. So anyway, that's pretty neat story there. Okay, moving on. Basically, I did just look. It's a five millimeter drop. So that's good. That's good. It's kind of middle of the road, not too high, not too low, and I cannot resist. Let's put it on the scale and see how much it weighs. 251 grams. Let me get the ounces. 8.8 ounces. 8.8 ounces. So almost nine ounces. So, uh, you know, actually for a trail shoe, trail shoes, just so everybody knows, are traditionally a little heavier because a lot of times some of them have rock plates, which is basically a hard piece of plastic to help protect your foot from sharp rocks out on the trails. And so this guy is actually for a trail shoe that's not bad. Uh, actually, that's pretty darn good. I'll have to I'll have to go back. Like my Solomon Speedcross fives are over 11 ounces, so this is considerably lighter. Um, and just like I don't know, I'm kind of excited. It feels pretty good. It actually feels very lightweight. Um, all right, I think that is it for today's second video. I will get these shoes out on the trail probably next week. Um, yeah, next week. Let's just count on it, and I'll get you my first impressions then. And that keyword is going to be 
Sweden. That's right. Shout out to all the Swedes out there tuning into the channel. Thank you for watching the first running shoe from your home country. I love it. Keyword Sweden. And again, that question of the day, what was your guess for what was in the box considering that it was a company, a running shoe company that I've never owned before. And uh, I'll be fast because there's really, there's a lot of companies out there that are just like under the radar. I would put Sao Ming as one of those under the radar companies, especially, you know, even in the trail running community. Listen, I'm not sure in Europe, but here in the United States, definitely like Sao Ming is not very well known. Um, and maybe somebody could let me know if I'm pronouncing it correctly. So for all the Swedes out there watching, am I saying it right? Let me know down below. I'd appreciate it. All right. That's all for the second video. See you, beauty. Work hard and love each other. Oh man, it's it's got my attention. It's got my attention. Mm.